Hey, so what's going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario, and I know not really hat weather at this point, but figured I'd wear it in this video for old time's sake. And uh, today we're going to be unboxing this copy right here of uh, Oddworld, Abe's Odyssey, New and Tasty. So this is essentially the reboot of the original Oddworld, and uh, this is also a special unboxing because it is from Limited Run Games. Now, in case you don't know what Limited Run Games is, uh, they've done a few other games as well. I actually have them to the side here. They did this one, Breach and Clear, where they end up putting out a physical copy of it on the Vita and they also did this other game which was Saturday morning RPG uh, again they put this out on the PS4 and they also put it out on the Vita I got the PS4 version because that's what I want to play for anyone that doesn't know what limited run games is essentially it was uh, this company working with the mighty rabbit studios I think they did kind of an offshoot where they did you know the whole limited run type thing so the first two games were from mighty rabbit studios and what they do is on at least right now on the PlayStation Vita and the PlayStation 4 they take these indie games and they make physical copies of them so this is a digital game but they made a physical version where it has a disc normally I took the disc out and it might come with extra stuff you know like booklets all that other stuff uh, just other little bonuses here and there and they sell for anywhere from like 20 to 30 dollars normally those ones I think were 25 a piece and this one was 30 so that excludes shipping but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and crack this open what I do is I normally show this on camera here and uh, looking down so I have to open this up, but I uh, normally share this on camera here and then I record a little bit of gameplay and talk about my thoughts on like, you know, the first impressions of the game and everything. Uh, although I have played some of the other Oddworld games. My first Oddworld experience was actually Munch's Odyssey on the OG Xbox, which I absolutely loved. So it was weird going to... I need to open this thing. You know what sucks about these games right here? Like not this game in general, but just like American packed games and everything. It's annoying to take off the plastic and all that stuff, but normally on like imported games from overseas and all that, they have like a little ribbon on the bottom where you can change all of that, and that's nice where you can just take it apart. So anyways, we have this available right here. We have the cover and everything, and on the back it says, Abe is back on the menu. Experience a timeless classic and stunning next-gen splendor as new and tasty recooks the all-time favorite hit. This is how you do a reboot, says the escapist. And then it says 100% original recipe, all new ingredients. It also only takes up 4.5 five gigabytes of hard drive space and it's a one player dual shock 4 game uh, so as you can see instead of a UPC code they did put the uh, limited run this is number four right there number one was of course breach and clear and then number two was Saturday morning RPG on PS4 uh, and then number three was Saturday morning RPG for Vita I just get the PS4 versions anyways let's go ahead and open this thing up right here and that's actually pretty cool I like the disc on that it's odd that they don't have the title of it on there but I also like that at the same time, I haven't seen that on a PlayStation 4 game where it doesn't have the title. Uh, they also have right here, no inlay of graphics or anything like that, like no graphical inlay. Um, but right here, it says uh, just a little slip type thing. Uh, the cover for new and tasty and then we'll go ahead and open this up it's just safety warnings blah 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 and then nothing on the back it's just black and it says limited run honestly even though this is kind of a you know indie town all that this is the most prolific game that they have released so that's pretty cool to see and i saw them a few months ago where they were talking about you know getting the deals and everything for this uh, so in addition to that you also get a limited run sticker right here and of course a little uh, new and tasty odd world abe's odyssey kind of slip type thing so i'll just slip into the back of the case. So now that we have this all packed up and everything, let's go ahead and play it and I will go ahead and record some footage and let you all know what I think of it because even though I have it, I don't think I've played more than like a minute of it. I think I was just randomly trying it at one point. So I got to play this for a little bit and I can definitely say I'm not surprised at this but I do enjoy it quite a bit. You see I have played the Odd World games before sparingly but I have played them. As I was saying in the unboxing video itself but I didn't get to completely finish the thought and all that, my first Odd World game was actually Odd World Munch's Odyssey which I thoroughly enjoyed on the original Xbox. Then one day I ended up finding out that they had all these other games as well so I picked up Abe's Odyssey and Abe's Exodus on the PS1 which are completely different than Munch's Odyssey. Of course, because it's in the Oddworld series, but you're playing as someone different, but also because that is a completely giant, huge 3D game. At least it felt huge at the time on the original Xbox. These ones on the original PS1 uh, were not as big, and they were, you know, more limited, because you're going to see right here, it's a 2D side scroll in kind of a 3D fashion. But this is a really cool remake, you all. I've known about it for a while, just really haven't delved into it. But this is really just the 
original PlayStation 1 game redone. I mean, the same story, the cutscenes are redone as well, but it got a really great treatment on here. As you can see, it got a nice, you know, current gen version of it. And honestly, this is a treat for both people who have played the game. Oddworld fans, although now I'm kind of getting into three groups, and also people that have never played the game before, or never played an Oddworld series game. So if you want to see what it's about and you missed out on it on PlayStation Plus, I know the digital, digital download is still going to be cheaper, but this is also cool to have in your collection because this is a quote-unquote limited edition, and the PS4 version was limited to 5,000 copies, I want to say. I believe the Vita version was limited to 2,500. So yeah, that's it. That's why I haven't spoken too much on this game itself, because it's really what I expected. It's the original Oddworld Abe's Odyssey game, except made pretty, redone, all that stuff. It's the same type of storyline. The cutscenes look great on here as well, too. The same humors are the same menus are available as well, too, which is great. And of course, you know, the humor, you're gonna have to deal with it. It's crude humor. There's burping, farting, all that other stuff. Uh, and you're just taking around these Madokans right here and trying to save them, which is essentially what most of the game is, if not all the game. But it's still fun to play, and it's something that you can definitely kill some time with so honestly out of the three this would probably be my favorite out of you know the three that have been released so far which have been breach and clear saturday morning rpg and odd world abe's odyssey although i feel like i'm a bit biased because i have played the odd world games before and i do enjoy them but this is also showing a really awesome level up for the company as well too that they were able to get a series like this that is actually pretty well known despite it being an in indie games but that's also the point of it as well too to release these indie games and all that as physical games and physical cartridges and discs and all that stuff so yeah those are my thoughts on Oddworld Abe's Odyssey right here overall I'm enjoying it I can definitely see myself playing a lot more of it when I'm not trying to finish Ratchet and Clank I'm almost done with that at the moment but I'm definitely going to be putting some more time into this here as well because I genuinely do want to play it so let me know what you all think of this as well too the game itself or limited run games what they're doing or if this is something that you'd be interested in or if you have picked up a limited run game I myself have been picking up the PS4 versions when available, aside from the first one, which is Breach and Clear, and that was only a Vita game on that, but I also know somebody who has only been getting the Vita versions as he's more of a Vita collector. I can see the appeal to that, but personally, I'm a bit of a collector, but I also like to play my games, and if I have the PS4 version or the Vita version, I would personally pick the PS4 version, which is why I've been getting the console versions and all the handheld ones. But anyways, yeah, let me know what you all thought of this, and if you enjoyed this video, this unboxing, this overview, anything like that, go ahead and like the video, and if you completely hated it, anything like that, there's also a dislike button as well, too. But anyways, this is Mr. Mario, signing off. Thank you all for watching, everyone.